Hey guys, so one of the things that we talked about on Friday was this idea of special right triangles. Okay, so what makes them special is that they have certain special properties. So they're still right triangles like this one, and I can still kind of, I can just move around this one. You can see that that 90 degree angle is still there no matter how big or small I make this. So the triangles that I'm going to introduce today are still right triangles, but they're going to have special properties to them. So, um, one of those first two triangles is called a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And that comes from the fact that one of the angles is 45 degrees, the other one is 45 degrees, and the last one is 90 degrees. And that doesn't matter, um, you know, again, if I make this bigger, it's still 45, still 45 here, and still 90. Okay, so um, the first one's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. In any 45, 45, 90 triangle, you'll notice it's an isosceles right triangle. And what that means is that it has two side lengths that are equal in length. So, for example, this leg right here is equal in size to this leg right here. Um, if I were to make this smaller, same thing is true. You notice that both of these legs are equal in size. Um, if I move this, make it bigger, you still notice that they're equal in size. Okay, So um, that makes it an isosceles right triangle. Um, now, what happens when we actually go and compare the legs to the hypotenuse? Because after all, there is a special relationship in 45, 45, 90 triangles that exists between the legs and the hypotenuse. So let's try to figure that out. So what I'm going to do is, in this little spreadsheet here, I'm just going to put the length of each leg, so 6.17, and then the hypotenuse is 8.72. Um, I don't need to do the 6.17 twice because they're the same. Anyways, so I'll just have one leg on there. Um, I'll do a different triangle. I'll make this one a little bit bigger. And that's 7.85. And the uh, hypotenuse is 11.1. .1. Do it again for maybe like two more triangles. And so if I move this around, let's make it that big. Each leg is 12.05. And the hypotenuse is 17.05. I'll do one more. Make it, let's make this one smaller. So 2.23 is the size of each leg, and then the length of the hypotenuse is 3.15. So what I want to do in this C column right here is I want to take the hypotenuse over the leg, and I just want to see if there's a relationship between each hypotenuse and each leg um, on any given 45, 45, 90 triangle. So what I did in this column was I took the hypotenuse over the leg and got this 1.41 number. Again, I took the hypotenuse over the leg and got this 1.41 number. And it turns out that I get pretty much that same number uh, every time. Okay, So there's something significant about um, the ratio of the length of a hypotenuse to the length of any given leg. Now, uh, this number isn't nice and neat or anything like that, so I'm going to see what happens uh, when I square it, actually. So I'm just going to get equals... And I'm just going to square it, hopefully with the intention so that I can get um, an easier number. Okay, So I get this 1.99 number, and if I do the same for all of them, what you notice is that it always comes out to be uh, 2. And so what we say is, what this has to mean is that the length of any hypotenuse, the length of any hypotenuse in a 45, 45, 90 triangle is always going to be square root of two times bigger than the length of any side length. Okay, And where I get that square root of two times bigger is um, the square root of two is this 1.4 number, the, this column right here, this 1.41 number. And so if I square it, that's where I get two. So the square root of two is this number. And since this, the hypotenuse was this much bigger than each leg, that's where it comes from. So for a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and actually I'm going to do this so you can, I can write it down real quick. So for any 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always square root of two times bigger than the leg. Okay, now what about the other special triangle? Um, if I get rid of 45, 45, 90, the other type of special right triangle that we get is called a 30, 60, 90. Um, it's very similar, it's still a right, it's still a right triangle, it has its right angle over here, regardless of how big or small that I make it. 
However, um, it has a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and then finally it's 90 degree angle. Okay, so uh, it has a smallest side, a larger side, and then the largest side, which is the hypotenuse. Okay, so what we're going to try and figure out is what's the relationship between those sides. So just like before, I'm going to try to see if there's a relationship between any two side lengths. And so I'm going to just compare the short leg and the long leg for right now. So the short leg I have is 5.48. The long leg I, that I have is 9.49. .9. Uh, I'm going to do that for maybe just to say two more triangles. Okay, I'm going to make this smaller. Uh, the short leg is 2.38. The long leg is 4.12. And then we'll get one more triangle in there. Switch it around a little bit. You'll notice that it's still 30, 60, 90. Um, the short leg is 6.98 and the long leg is 12.1. One thing I should point out is that the shortest leg will always be opposite of the smallest angle. So this is the 30 degree angle, so therefore this is the shortest leg. This is the 60 degree angle, so therefore this is the middle sized leg. And then this is the greatest uh, angle, 90 degrees, so this is the greatest side length. Okay. Now, if I compare these in this D column right here, in other words, I just take the long leg divided by the short leg. What I get is this 1.73 number, and I get them for all three triangles. Okay. In other words, it kind of looks similar to the last 45, 40, 90 triangle, um, except this time I'm getting a little bit different number. Now, again, it's kind of a weird number, but it, su it suggests that there's a relationship between the long leg and the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square this just to see if I can make it an, e an easier number. And what you find is that that number comes out to be 3. Okay, So what that has to mean is this, this number is right here is 3, so which means this number is square root of 3. And what that has to mean is that for any uh, 30, 60, 90, not 990, any 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longer leg is always square root of three times bigger than the shorter leg. Okay, now what about the hypotenuse? Well, if I get rid of, I'm going to get rid of these things real quick. And then I'll come up with three new triangles. So um, I'll shorten this triangle up a little bit. What about the, I'm going to compare the short leg and the hypotenuse. And this one will be a little bit easier to notice. So the short leg here is 4.7. The hypotenuse is 9.4. I'll just do two more triangles. Uh, the short leg is 6.79. The hypotenuse is 13.58. And then finally, I'll do an even bigger one. I have 8 point, uh, the short leg is 9.49. And then the hypotenuse is 18.99. Okay, so again, what happens when I compare the hypotenuse to the short leg? So take the hypotenuse divided by the short leg. What do you notice? I get 2. Now, is that the same for the others? It is. So what that means is for any 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is always 2 times bigger, or I should say 2 times greater than the short than the shorter leg. Okay, so what that means is it's going to allow us. So you're going to be. Uh, it's going to allow us to calculate the side lengths of any um, special right triangle that we want, especially the ones for 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90. And those triangles are very common, um, mainly because of their special properties. Okay, so regardless of how we shape these, as long as we have these two different triangles in here, the one on the left, 30, 60, 90, the one on the right being a 45, 45, 90. Uh, you'll be able to use these ideas right here that I, that I wrote out earlier about how their side lengths compare to one another um, and solve for different side lengths. Okay? So have these ideas written down somewhere. Um, I will show you an illustration of them and a diagram that will help you once we get in class. But you are going to have to be able to say, um, if I give you just a 45-45-90 triangle and I show you the length of just the side lengths, um, the, of the legs, you are going to have to solve for this one. And vice versa, if I give you just the hypotenuse, you are going to have to be able to solve for either leg. Okay, 
So anyways, that wraps that up and uh, we'll deal with it in class.